Can you guess what the average price of a wedding is in the United States of America? Well, according to a 2022 survey of 12,000 couples by The Knot, it's $30,000, which is which is out of control. I, I realize I got married in 1982, but we didn't even hit four figures, probably high three figures somewhere. We had a wonderful wedding with 150 people there and had a fantastic time in a beautiful church, Bethlehem Lutheran, Tacoma, Washington. And now we're looking at $30,000. Wow. Uh, and I preside at so many weddings. I've probably done two or 300 weddings in my ministry lifetime. And they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. They're going after this wow factor, which I think is sort of counterproductive. And the statistics would, would bear me out on that. A 2014 survey, and I realize there's been some inflation since 2014, but a 2014 survey showed that people who spent more than 20,000 on a wedding were 3.5 times more likely to divorce than couples who spent $10,000 or less on their wedding. 3.5 times more likely to divorce. Perhaps they're looking at their marriage, their wedding, as more of a material thing and something to be showy rather than something to be intimate and connected and community-based. I just, uh, I've seen some beautiful weddings that cost almost nothing. Barefoot brides in the backyard dancing outside afterwards with a, a potluck dinner. I've seen people pick flowers out of a garden to start the wedding in our front yard once, and it was a beautiful wedding too. So there's lots of ways to do weddings, and another statistic is counterintuitive compared to the other one. The more guests you have, the more likely it is that your marriage will survive. So the more guests you have and the less you spend, the better off your marriage tends to be. Now, that's there's no direct correlation, but these are just statistics. But think about it. Involve the community. Involve people. Let them bring something. Let them contribute to it. And have it become a community event which focuses on the people who are there and also the vows you're making before the Lord and before other people. And consider having it in a church. It's way less expensive than a venue. And there's lots of ways to, to make that happen. So, so think about that. If you're planning a wedding, consider spending less and inviting more people because weddings are getting out of hand.